All right, hello everyone, and welcome to a new episode of our Meet the Team series. Today, I'm here with Carolyn Chow, who is a PM on the Google Ads API. Hello. Hi. Happy, How are uh, you today? Happy Thursday. I'm uh, doing great. How are you? Not too bad. It's you know, it's almost Christmas time. It's I see the holidays coming up. Yeah, yeah, I think we're all looking forward to that for sure. Exactly. So first of all, um, how would you describe your job and what you do as a product manager, especially when it comes to the API to somebody who may not necessarily be a technical person? Like say, for instance, your family or your non-technical friends. Yeah, um, so I can start with kind of the product manager piece and then also as it relates to API after that. Um, so from my point of view, a product manager is kind of like a physical and maybe even spiritual guide for a product end to end across the board. Um, from my point of view, also good product managers have a really deep understanding of one, customer needs and use cases, two, technical capabilities and limitations within kind of the stack itself, and three, how those kind of work both for and against each other. Um, to be able to really prioritize the most important work for the teams that you work with. Um, on the API side, um, with API compatibility specifically, we recognize that advertisers are not one size fits all. So really API availability is critical for customers to be able to use the product on another surface in a way that works best for them. Whether it's calling the API directly to access information or making changes, um, or even building something on top of that API. Got it. Awesome. I, I especially particularly love the like the spiritual guide bit, and that uh, that's that's exactly the same feeling I have towards the role of a PM. Yeah. And then, uh, so my my follow up would be: How does one uh, become a PM, and how did you actually become a PM for Google Ads API? What was your your path and your story that? that led you here, basically? Yeah, uh, my path is actually a pretty, I, I mean, I'm a little biased. I'm, it's a pretty interesting one. It's a very non-traditional one in some ways. Um, I'm really, I'm like, I love this question because I think it's so interesting. Um, I feel like I'm tooting my own horn, which is very weird. Uh, but I, I, my path here, start and end point don't make sense but once you kind of know the the progression it makes a little more sense but um i'll start with the start point you know the end point i actually have um a couple degrees in civil and environmental engineering um, my research was always very analytics focused so very large environmental data sets um, based off of like nasa satellites when i was doing research um, and then when I went into industry i stayed within the civil environmental field um, i was a consultant working on large software implementations for like environmental companies. So water and electric utilities, things like that. And then I actually found my way to Google data center design and construction. Um, and that was my kind of initial bout with Google. That's kind of where I realized that the analytical and problem solving part of my job and what I had done in research and things like that were what I actually enjoyed and not necessarily the civil environmental field. Um, so I actually 180'd, uh, went to a FinTech startup, had some great experience there, um, worked with a, a bunch of different teams, and then realized maybe I 180'd a little too far and decided I wanted to come back to Google. And my second round with Google, I started as a software program manager on Google Home, um, released a couple products. So Nest Hub Max and the Chromecast with the remote were probably my two biggest ones. Um, I launched a few of those and then I found my way into ads. Um, from there, I, I was a program manager in ads for a couple years and then I made my switch to product manager. Um, I was, as a program manager, you're, you work a lot with a lot of different people. And so I had some product managers that I worked with, um, which, and they're the ones that actually prompted the switch um, to becoming a product manager. Awesome. Um, so then, I mean, as you know, we, we all work in teams which are part of an extended team, which are part of an, a bigger extended team and so on. And 
um, ultimately we're all part of Google, which is a pretty big company. Uh, but then uh, inside your like uh, smaller team, what are your own specialties and your own superpowers among the all, all sorts of things that your smaller team does? Yeah, so I am a product manager, as I mentioned in ads, and then kind of diving down deeper into that, I am specifically a product manager on Performance Max, which is Google Ads' newest campaign type, um, focused on like cross-channel buying, things like that, and getting advertisers the best performance on the best ads at the right time. Um, so within Performance Max, I focus on kind of the advertiser-facing services for all of Performance Max. Um, that includes features in UI, but also API, like 1P and 3P integrations, things like that. That sounds like a lot of fun, especially because, I mean, from my point of view as like developer relations engineer, performance max is basically where all the fun is happening at the moment because it's like the the bleeding edge of our technology. Yeah, it's definitely fun. It's it's I call it crazy, great crazy. <laughs> so definitely that for sure. And then like on a day to day basis, what is your favorite part of being a product manager what's like what gives you like the most gratification and what makes you happy yeah i think this actually relates back to kind of what i've always done so like even in the beginning of my career where my like job title and role was like pretty different um for me it was and it still is very much working with customers and users to understand their needs and helping them find solutions that make the most sense for them. Um, I love talking to customers. I love talking to users. Um, they're probably the most creative in being able to like find solutions. And so learning from them to understand what they're doing, uh, I actually really find like very fulfilling. Um, and it also helps me step outside of like the day to day focus of like being deep in the weeds with like my engineers and like sales and things like that. It, it helps me take a step back to really understand the more holistic picture. Yeah, I can totally relate to that. I mean, as a developer relations engineer, talking to customers and users is like 80% of my job. And it's I can yeah. totally understand why it is like gratifying and fulfilling. So, And also, I can totally share the feeling of like uh, being amazed at all the ways users can use your products. and often also break them yeah totally. that's, that's what they do so um and again you know this talking to users is usually uh, like an extremely valuable learning experience or it has a lot of value in that so uh it may be not necessarily related to speaking with users but what is the favorite thing that you learned in like the last year or so yeah um good question i think this relates back to what you mentioned earlier about pmax being kind of like the hot new bleeding edge thing um so this may be really cheesy but i have actually been just so impressed by how how effective a team can be when you're all working towards a shared goal with minimal distractions i think like pmax is a great example of that in part because of just like pmax we've grown crazily maybe grazily um I, I think we're always every single person on the team is juggling a lot in work and even in life and in the last year i've just seen how much can actually be done when you get everyone on the same page working together towards the same goal so it's been great to see that yeah and pmx is especially like it, it really feels magic i mean I used to work as a developer relations engineer in 2019. PMAC was not even there. Then I left Google and came back earlier this year, and PMAC was PMAC was there. And I was like, "You folks did all of this? It's magic! How did you actually achieve this?" Yeah, it's been it's been a wild ride for sure. <laughs> yeah, but the results are awesome. Yeah. Totally. So, uh, given that my focus and the focus of, of the channel is the api and developers uh can you discuss some of the work that you're doing to make like developers life and developer experience with the api easier yeah so uh, as we 
we know Pmax is the newest campaign type for Google ads. And so right now we're early stages, even though there's been like such massive growth. So we're, we're early stages trying to make sure um, all of Pmax features are fully supported in the API. Um, so I, I, we get a lot of feedback. So keep the feedback coming on what's missing. And that's, um, that's really good to hear and really does help us prioritize kind of where we focus our efforts next. Brilliant. And now, I mean, given that this whole video series is about meeting the people who actually build the API, now let's let's switch a bit of, like to a different topic and like get off work related stuff. And I would like to ask you, uh, what is like your favorite way to detach and to relax when you're not working? Like, do you have any hobbies or anything like that? Yeah. Um, so I spend a lot of time, like many of us, staring at a screen. Uh, so when I want to relax and detach, I really do try to move myself away from that screen. So I, I love being outside in any possible way. Um, like I, I do a lot of outdoor activities, but like the most basic one I will do every single day, like just I, I think it helps my mental health, too, is just wander around outside frequently aimlessly for like miles and hours, like put in some music and like or like talk to talk to friends or family um i find it's also the best way to find like the hole in the wall food places because when you walk that much you got to eat so um that that is truly my my favorite way to just like detach and relax yes, big plus sure. one. I'm, a, I'm, I'm a big fan of like open air endless wandering so let's fully yeah. agree with that totally and then like final question let's look like towards the future what is one thing that you're very excited or looking forward to for the next year or so for 2023, which is almost here? Yeah. Um, I think we're coming out of this weird stage in the last two years of coronavirus. And I, I don't know if we're coming out of it or we're just adjusting to the new normal. But I am really, really excited to get back to seeing people in person, both personally and for work. Like, seeing family but also like going to meet customers in person and users in person um i really enjoy that we've started doing that to some extent and i'm glad there's been a lot more flexibility in daily work to be able to work where it makes the most sense um just in general i i do just really appreciate being able to see people and interact beyond a screen again so 2023 i'm looking forward to that as much as possible yeah fully agree to that as well i mean it's it's something that i i didn't realize that i missed so much until i started seeing people physically again and it's it's something i really missed and i'm really looking forward to for the next year to like to increase my amount of face time with people yeah totally awesome thanks a lot and it's been it's been great and it's been really awesome to get to know you a little better so thanks a lot and of course uh, if you like this video don't forget to like it and if you want to, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be always up to date with what's going on with the Google Ads API and also with what's going on with our team. Thanks a lot. Awesome. Thank you so much. Bye.